Goodbye, 2022. Bye and thank you. Hi everyone! Happy 2023 from Belle and me. Are you my cutest girl? So for today, guys, I want to do a highly requested video, which is my wish list for 2023. Um, but as I was going through the stuff that I was thinking to put on my list, I felt that it was quite excessive. So I think this would probably be like 2023 and beyond. I don't think I intend to um get this all this stuff in one year because i don't know to me it's slightly excessive so let's go into it guys so before we begin if you're new here my name is jen and um please do subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you are into this kind of stuff i do some unboxings some shopping vlogs uh beauty fashion um okay so for today's wish list uh, or rather this year's and i guess beyond wish list i put together stuff that is actually that i've separated into various categories as you can guess definitely there is a handbag category uh jewelry and then um i didn't really do anything for shoes because for shoes i just buy them randomly when i see something i really like so i don't really have anything like on at the top of my wish list for now but before we go into the um material stuff like the luxury items that i'm gonna talk about um i think for this year i'm also starting some new things for myself i'm going for pilates uh, reformer classes which is a one-on-one -on -one because i know that i'm pretty um I'm very new at this i know that uh you know it's not my strongest it's not my biggest strength actually exercising and stuff like that so i thought i really needed one-on-one -on -one attention so i went for one class and i thought it was really really um, good so i wanted to continue and then uh another one is also to be less stressed out by stuff this year uh last year was great it's just that of course there were ups and downs i'm sure as with many of you uh so i just want to learn how to you know be able to kind of make mistakes and not blame myself for it hopefully not too big of a mistake this year and um yeah just looking forward to 2023 so now let's get into the stuff and i'll start with handbags so as you guys know you know um you always see my break in 25 sitting there and for 2023 i'm really hoping to get the second quota bag which is a kelly 25 cellier i'm pretty sure i want cellier for now and um i just can't make up my mind if i want another pop of color <clears throat> which would be a rouge garance which is uh, the picture I have here, uh, it is a blue tone red, which is really pretty. And um, I think red is actually quite easy to match with outfits. Um, red being a primary color. Pink red is actually easier than pink to match with outfits, in my opinion. Especially a blue tone one, because I don't know. Um, I think I, I kind of like more cool tone stuff, if you've realized after following me for a while. if. Um, you know, I'm just not into like oranges and yellow. I don't think I like warm tone stuff that much. I much prefer um, like kind of cooler colors. So, oh, and another big thing also is that I'm going to move into my new this year. Um, I don't know exactly when it will be ready. It should be a couple of months. I'll just need to do a bit of renovation and then like uh, get furniture. I still haven't really decided on the theme, but I think it would be a neutral theme like beige whites. My favorite colors, uh, maybe with some light grays and like mauve colors, like the mauve Sylvester uh, lighter version. We'll see. And okay, so now back to the Kelly. The reason I want a cellier is because you guys know how much I love structured bags, and I think a cellier Kelly is what I would want if I only were to have one Kelly because I don't see myself having like tons of Birkins and Kellys. Um, you know, I'm also really trying not to spend or buy stuff excessively. I mean, it's, apart from the money involved, it's like um, I have so much stuff. I spent like the last two days uh, kind of incrementally organizing my stuff. I donated a lot of stuff. I gave a lot of stuff away, but I still have a lot of stuff. So yeah, I think that's a problem. So at the top of my handbag list would be a Kelly 25, either in Rouge Garance or in Black or gold or i will also consider chai chai is the color uh, that you can see on my um rodeo got it out so chai is a very nice neutral brown it really is like milk tea color and if you saw my earlier unboxing of the rodeo i think you know how much i love 
this little horsey she hasn't been out yet so he's gonna go out soon so yeah this chai or the gold uh, which is my watch as you can see here this shade i think would be really good and i can't believe it but i'm actually considering a black and my essay is like okay are you sure i was like yeah if i get a black kelly with gold hardware i think it'll be super classic and since i intend to use it even when i'm really super old uh later on i think black would be great but I don't know, I'm also tempted by Rouge Garand, which is such a nice blue tone classic red, but it's also not always available. So guys, let me know what you think. But I'm pretty sure I do want a Kelly 25 Cellier with gold hardware. And well, why I'm going for this Kelly is like, it just seems like a logical one after getting a Birkin. Um, you know, maybe later on, if I were to have the capacity to get another Bir uh, another quarterback, I would go for a Birkin again rather than the Constance or Constance. So uh, Kelly, I think is a very ladylike and the closure is a bit dif different from the Birkin, as you all probably know. Uh, Birkin is just very easy to use. It's essentially a tote bag because nobody would close the flap. Uh, you know, fasten the flap because it's just too much of a hassle. Uh, but my friends who have the Kelly always tell me that it's quite difficult to open and close and it's quite difficult to hang stuff. So, um, but to me, Kelly is great as well because it's very ladylike and then it has a shoulder strap. So I love the, the shoulder strap bit and I just think like for completeness, you know, if you have a Birkin, usually you want to go for Kelly first and then go back to Birkin if that's what you really, really love. And um, of course, I'm trying to like get bags that are, as I always try to, you know, classic bags that I can use for years to come. And if in the event, if I really wanted to sell them, it's easier to sell classic bags. I mean, that's just something to keep in mind. Although I, I don't think I want to sell my Birkin or my Kelly ever, especially my first ever quarter bag. Uh, Hermes bags are just really well made in my opinion, uh, compared to a lot of other brands, including Chanel. Uh, as you probably can guess so that's um the kelly that i want kelly 25 cellier gold hardware either rouge garance chai gold or black so i i hope i'll be able to get that like before my birthday this year in october 2023 as some of you may know i just celebrated it seems like so it's like just like yesterday you know time really really flies by really fast Okay, another bag on my wish list, it is the Garden Party, but Garden Party canvas. So as you guys may know, I have my Garden Party E230 in leather, uh, Nagonda leather with the uh, reverse stitching on E2. Uh, and I love using this bag, it's just very easy to use. It is another tote bag, just the right size for me because I don't put in a laptop, I carry a separate laptop bag. And I'll show you a photo of me trying on a canvas garden party when I first went to the store the very first time at Hermes Gardens when I got this one and I chose the leather one first so if you don't have any garden parties I would still recommend for you to get the leather one first and then um, get the canvas one if you really really like this style uh, of which I do so uh, I'll show you a picture some pictures of some canvas uh, garden parties in 30 that I really like the, the combination uh, hopefully I can get a dark canvas because the canvas is more prone to dirt etc although you can like kind of spray a protective spray but i'm not sure how that works and usually essays don't recommend for you to spray um external brand stuff on the hermes items so garden party is just a very simple easy to use bag if you think it's too plain you can de decorate it with um twillies or you know rodeos or some other bag charms of your choice and i think it's just the right size for work uh for casual weekends etc and you know basically you can just uh uh put chuck everything inside even though i do have an organizer in the you know aim of hopefully making my stuff more organized so garden party is second and also third now moving away from hermes i have i thought of a mini lady dior for the longest time so this is the abc dior which is the next size up uh i've used this quite a lot if you can see you know i just still love the fact that it has feet uh canache quilting uh, i still like this very very dust, uh, light pink i think it's called dusty pink with the champagne gold hardware but i really really wanted a pattern one so my dior essay talked me out of it earlier because i mean 
even I know from experience, pets and stuff should read Chanel. Dior, you know, they do get sticky if you don't take care of them and you have to wipe it with a soft cloth and it can't be in too humid conditions and obviously Malaysia is a humid country so you need to keep it properly away from sunlight etc but you know I'll show you some clips of me where I tried the uh, pattern mini lady door and I really really did love the pattern one it's just I never uh, bit the bullet and obviously prices have been increasing uh, each year and obviously it's much more expensive now not much more but at least more so you know that is slightly lower uh, in terms of priority but if I get a chance to get it in um, Paris or Europe when I travel or if my friends go I would probably put that uh, quite high up my wish list uh, because Hermes stuff I prefer to buy from my SA in KL in Malaysia so that's one and the fourth one uh, in terms of wish list is actually something from Louis Vuitton I've been going to LV for the longest time as most of you may know but I was just suddenly craving a uh, monogram canvas piece and uh, they have a lot of cute stuff recently like uh, the nano stuff like I really like the nano Noe and I know there's a new bag that's coming out it's called the Ivy wallet on chain so I'll show you some pictures that I found uh, based on Intel's online in the intelligence online and yeah um, I also quite, quite quite like the nano bucket that I have that I have here but we'll see it's kind of lower in terms of my priority but I would love to have a, a monogram piece because I sold my uh, vanity and I still kind of regret it but I don't think I'll buy another vanity uh, are you surprised that I have nothing from Chanel yet but yeah in terms of bags I don't really want I don't really have anything on my mind for Chanel of course the bags are still pretty in like I hope I don't go against my words but yeah uh, so I do like the Coco Crush ring that I tried on but this is low lower much lower priority compared to the others it's a classic kind of the quilted Chanel quilt uh, Chanel quilt design on the ring and it's very well made love it and um, you know but it is obviously slightly expensive since you're also paying for the Chanel brand so if I'm paying that much money usually I'd rather go for Van Cleef which is a uh, French government certified uh, jewelry house uh, and apart from Van Cleef I think it's only like Graf Cartier uh, yeah that has that kind of certification like the basically the highest uh, rating for jewelry houses uh, and so yeah I think that's it okay now let's get to jewelry guys uh, for some reason my Van Cleef videos are the most popular I feel uh, on my channel so uh, but anyway I do love Van Cleef as you guys know I wear these two on a 24 7 basis and I'll do a proper review later on um, so but however in terms of my wish list from Van Cleef I don't really have something that like I'm desperately wanting to get uh, oh yeah I forgot I might want to get a guilloche pendant just to match with the bracelet but it's not a, a high high priority um, I however as you know I have these vintage Alhambra earrings and I've always always loved the look of the uh, two motif vintage Alhambra, uh, two motif Alhambra basically you would have um, the top it is this vintage size with a magic size um, Alhambra motif uh, hanging from it so it's a very very cute lovely and I think quite easy to wear a uh, pair of dangling earrings and obviously uh, Princess Kate wore it to an event but I think it also works for daytime especially with Mother of Pearl I'll show you some uh, clips of me trying on the Onyx version with the uh, Pave ones but I think the Pave ones and the Onyx ones are too formal for me I don't think I have that many events to attend and obviously it's super expensive because it's Pave diamonds I think for my lifestyle the uh, Mother of Pearl in gold yellow gold this is white gold as you can see with the just one dangling um, magic size motif would be perfect for me and I think it goes with a lot of stuff even like with what I'm wearing right now so that's what I'm thinking of at Van Cleef I thought of that for a long time but just never really mentioned it 
Second piece of jewelry was like, uh, is actually from Cartier on my wish list. It is the JUC. The one that I have is the small one with no diamonds, but I'd like to have the large, the full size JUC with the diamonds or even plain. Um, you know, I tried it on and I'll show you some clips here at Cartier and I really liked it. It's a really more of a statement bracelet and um, that one I don't think I'll be able to wear that 24 7. So that is when, you know, I really, really, I don't know. Um, go crazy or there's some kind of windfall that I might consider that uh, bracelet but meanwhile I'm quite happy with this small one that I can wear on a 24-7 um, basis which I do uh, in terms of jewelry so I have the Van Cleef the Cartier and um, from Hermes probably not in 2023 though I still want to get the CDC bracelet one day the 18k rose gold one that I'll show you a photo of it's just very difficult to get so maybe that would be for the third quarter back if I do decide to go uh, continue on with the Hermes journey so to speak I just love my essay she's just super nice you know like compared to most other brands as well I just really really like my Hermes essay uh and then okay that's jewelry i think um yeah oh sorry guys for handbags right i still had one more which is the delvo or the from the brand from belgium which is really understated really um you know ladylike looking with great leather and uh, reasonable pricing so for that one i'll show you a picture here i uh, like the classic one with the belt uh strap opening but uh, that one probably I can only get that if I travel or if I have good friends uh, who, tra who, who are going to be traveling this year because uh, there isn't a boutique in Malaysia and I don't feel like ordering that online because it's not that cheap even though it's quite reasonably priced and the leather is really really good quality from what I hear and um, quality of the bag is really good as well uh, according to my friend who bought uh, two when she went to Belgium and yep so I do have, as you can see, I'm such a handbag person. So apart from that, the jewelry, uh, the handbags, um, hold on, I made a list actually. Apart from the fine jewelry, I also want to get another pair of pop edge earrings so i have mine in white here with the rose gold metal hardware i would love to have another color maybe a uh, red or something for chinese new year but i'm not sure if my essay can make it for chinese new year because chinese new year is just in like a couple of weeks gosh uh and another pair of costume jewelry areas i really like is the lv one surprise surprise the lv uh, iconic i think i'll put a picture here i saw it on the website and they have it in silver tone hardware gold yellow gold and blush hardware and the blush one is already sold out like i was like gosh you know so if there's no pop edge uh, when i see my essay tomorrow i might really consider the lv ones because they're so cute uh, and also because from far you can only see the v and my last name starts with a v as some of you may know so i might actually want to get that for um chinese new year especially if they have the blush one yeah so two pairs of costume jewelry in terms of earrings because i'm somebody who i love to wear earrings like for me like without wearing earrings i feel like my outfit is not complete right so um i just change up earrings quite a lot so those are stuff that i'll get quite a lot of use uh quite a lot of use and uh one more thing uh, my list is not very long for 2023 in terms of watches i feel like i'm covered already with my three hermes watches i'll do a proper comparison later on for the h hour cape cod and this nantucket watch but I did try on the Rolex um, steel one with the Tiffany blue face, uh, which is really, really pretty. But I don't want to get it for over retail. So I'll just test my luck and see if I, if the essay really calls me one fine day. And I might consider that as well because you guys know, apart from liking, I mean, I love pastel colors, right? But I really, really like like blue. I really, really love the Tiffany blue. Okay. So anyway, um yeah that's my wish list for 2023 i don't think it's too excessive right guys i'll probably space it out over a couple of years and you know throughout the year who knows what else might strike your fancy right so it really depends um yeah i mean since it's a wish list i thought i'll just go for <laughs> go for it uh in terms of um jewelry i feel like there should be more but yeah there's really nothing that's really really like singing to me like i feel like i have to get it right now but then again once you enter the store you might be tempted so 
you know, just talking about this with my girlfriend, like you might think that you don't want anything. Then when you get into the store, when you get such great service, you know, the great atmosphere, the great environment, you usually get tempted. Oh, in terms of shoes, I do have something that I wish for since two years ago, which is the Hermes Royal Loafer. Uh, I want to get it from my essay though in store, and I'll show you a picture of it. I know that I just got my Oz Mule, so maybe I'll get that in a different color. Even silver would be very, very pretty. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think. I'm really interested to know your wish list for 23 and beyond, perhaps. And let's see, by the end of 2023, let's see which ones I've actually gotten. So um, I hope you find today's video fun, just very chatty and uh, showing you what um, I'm planning or hoping to get. And uh, I think all the items I've listed have quite high... Um, fashion investment value definitely not for monetary investment guys for monetary investment you should buy like stocks uh, bonds or, or whatever uh, instead of um, fashion items because even though certain things are like worth xx amount they are very illiquid so if you really need cash all of a sudden you won't be able to get that amount i'm pretty sure all of you know that so um yeah Guys, thanks for watching and I hope you liked today's video and I will see you really, really soon. Bye!